All right, I'm gonna click the record button and we're gonna see how this turns out. So I need to make changes to Specs Media and I just need to say this out loud and if I say it out loud, I think everything will make more sense to you and even me in a way. To put it simply, I think my content sucks. I think it's not good. I think I can do better. And I think there's a cap to what I can do if that makes sense. I've been on NBA YouTube for about three years and I've made some great videos. I've made some bad videos. And during that time, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't made the best videos. And something I've really wanted to strive for was making great videos, making stuff that I genuinely am like wow i made that because now i'm at a point where i'm like eh, i knew I, I like i knew i made that like it's a good video but i made that but i want more i, I want to do better I will, i'll start off with the point that my videos have a cap to it which a lot of you might be confused by technically any video could blow up but that's also not true. In the YouTube space, whenever you click publish on a video, there is a cap to how well that video can do organically. Now, of course, if you are a channel with, you know, hundreds of thousands of subs, maybe a couple mil, you'll obviously get a good amount of views, whether you were posting about a topic that's trending or, I don't know, a video of your shit in the toilet bowl. Like, like there's like, like you're probably gonna get views. But for someone that's kind of a smaller channel, give or take, which 15K is definitely a small channel. Overall, there's a cap to everything you post. If I were to make a one hour video breaking down LeBron James's legacy, that probably has a cap of a couple million views. I think it's something a lot of people would like to watch. But if I made that same video about Alfred Payton, Juan Toscano Anderson, Unless I have an audience already that would easily get me over 100K per most of my vids, that's not doing numbers. I mean, I average anywhere from like three, 5,000 views, maybe like in the tens of thousands in like my highest of videos. And then of course my one out of tens, those can, those can vary from 20 to 50 to maybe 100K, which I've only done tw three times, three times. And it's cool that the possibility of an Alfred Payne documentary could get me a, a hundred thousand views. That's cool, but I think I can do better. But to get back on track, the videos I'm making have a cap to them. They cannot exceed more than a million views. 99% of them cannot. Most, in fact, most of these videos, I'm gonna be honest, really can't go over 100K. And if they do, it's boom, and then stop. It's like short, it's like, oh, you know, it's, it's not doing much. But I have a peak, it'll stop. Maybe have a peak, but then it, it stops. It's, it's not a continuous, like a, like a graph, where it's continually going. It's in these slow spurts, and sometimes those spurts are like slow, they're not good. Overall, the point I'm trying to get across is that, is that these videos can't really blow up, and if they do, it's just because of at the time. But Jesus Christ, like my Ben Simmons video, it's like 133K, give or take, it blew up in the first couple days. But now that video is, it's done, it's dead space, which I mean, rightfully so, who, care, who cares about Ben Simmons right now? But even then, like my buddy Two For One, which shout out to Two For One, I know you're probably watching this. He made a Ben Simmons documentary, that shit was like, what, two, three hours long? And it's still getting views today, which rightfully so. It was a great video. And mine was just, okay, how can I get views right now? That video is meant to be watched in a year or two when we're like, yo, Ben Simmons just retired, you know, that happens. Like, oh wait, look at what Two For One said. This this makes sense. My videos, on the other hand, cannot do that, to be honest with you, they, they just can't. There's a couple of them that I'm like, oh yo, these have stood the test of time. Like my Malika Andrews videos, those still get views. My Magnetic Rims video, which I'm definitely gonna remake, that's still getting views. Of course, it's not at a level I'd like it to, but it has potential to even do more than I thought. The, ma the Magnetic Rims video, it fucking sucks. But what if I remade that? I think there's like a better cap to that than when I originally made it. With the videos I make, I genuinely think they can never exceed over 100,000 views unless it's in a, a, a Milani. I can't fucking say the word. I'm sorry, man. But I want to make stuff that's good. I, I want to make stuff that I'm proud of and videos that I'm going to be honest can easily do over 100K or even a million despite my sub count. It doesn't matter how many subs you have. You could get a 1 million view video, but Something doesn't sit right with me that a fucking cat video has a ceiling 
a lot bigger than my video about the Grizzlies. And it, it, it's just weird to me, especially because I know I worked 10 times harder than that person did on that cat video. I mean, they just pulled out their phone and showed whiskers doing a backflip with an AK-47. Like, that, like that's, that doesn't take skill, which of course I'm not saying, oh, these cat people are trying to be influencers. So I'm stopping cryptic for a sec and kind of go over what's about to go down. The NBA Finals are about to finish within this next couple week, give or take, and I see Denver fully winning. I don't see Miami coming close. I originally said it was going to go to six, I believe. It's possible, but it's going to be like, like a dominant six. Like It's not going to be a moment where I'm like, oh, this is close. Nah, Denver is going to win easily. I have two videos about that that I'm going to make that are going to be great videos. But then after that, a lot of it is just up in the air. The beauty about the offseason is I believe that's the time to experiment. You could say, oh, but free agency, there's a lot to talk about. Maybe for two weeks. But Jesus fucking Christ, I'm not going to make a hundred videos on why Damian Lillard might leave the, the Trailblazers to maybe go to the Celtics. Maybe go to the Suns, Damian, we want you here. Or like maybe go to Miami just for him to probably stay or retire at that. I don't want to make videos about a trade that, let's be honest, I don't give a shit about. Like, little bro, it's not going to do anything. You're still not going to win a ring. I swear I wasn't dissing Chris Paul. I, I promise you. I, I just don't want to make content like that. I want to make stuff that I'm fucking proud of. And it's not to diss anyone that's doing that. Like what Kenny is able to do. Bro, Kenny is a fucking pioneer, a YouTuber. And I'm not trying to disrespect YouTubers because I'm one of the leading people like, yo, I believe we're more than just creators. But seeing Kenny on first take, like Stephen A. Smith trying to like mentor this man, like that's fucking awesome to see. And granted, you could hate Stephen A. Smith and I understand. I'm not the biggest fan of him myself, but it's still cool to see that arguably one of the best TV analysts of our time has taken a liking to YouTubers. And he's even said he wants to give more a, a chance in the in the past or in the future. So Kenny can get away with talking about, you know, today's topics and easily pull off a couple hundred K, but that, that's Kenny. And also I know there are other guys in the field that, you know, do that, but I want to be able to get videos that get over a million views. I want to get stuff that genuinely shocks you and stuff that it's like, okay, I don't have a whole lot of videos that are coming out, but you binge watch them and you're like, oh my God, I need to see when this guy uploads. Because relatively, do you have to subscribe to my channel? Like, you know I'm going to have two to three videos coming out a week. If you just periodically check, you know they're going to drop. But do you know when I'm going to drop this video I've been working on for 50, 50 to 100 hours about Kobe Bryant? Like, do you know that? Honestly, I don't even know when it's coming out. The, in a perfect world, we do five videos a month, maybe like five to seven. And I say we because I obviously cannot do this alone. I'm going to be doing a majority of the process, but the editing, I'm probably going to hand off to Div. He's someone that is my thumbnail designer. He's fucking amazing, by the way. I even had him edit the, uh, the finals prediction video. He fucking nailed that but it only did 3,000 views. And it was a great video, but there was a cap to what that can do. Man, I don't wanna be in a fucking box. I want to be able to do things that I didn't even think I could do. And that's what I'm gonna do this summer. All right, so I do have a video getting ready to drop within this next week-ish. I'm still waiting for Div you know, to edit it because I'm about to send him the audio file. Uh, I've been doing a lot of revisions to this because I want this to be great. Overall, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And real quick, before I do end this actually, I wanna give a shout out to uh, Jim Range. Funny enough, I tweeted something at like 9 a.m. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about this today on my second channel. He, he like DM'd me not too long after being like, yo, like what's the future of Specs Media? We talked for a bit and it was so fucking cool to just like talk about this and explain it. He's like, yeah, like I feel what you're trying to say. Like that is something I genuinely needed to happen because it's so hard to talk to like my dad or my friend that like doesn't do YouTube. They're like, oh, well, you know, try to like get, try to get the most viewers, but it's so hard to explain this to someone that doesn't do this. So to see someone that's successful, you know, like agreeing with what I'm saying and trying to help me out, I genuinely appreciate it. I mean, even say like at the end of it, like, yo, if you, if you want to talk about YouTube anytime, bro, just DM me. Like, that's all love. I genuinely appreciate this, dude, man. Also, appreciate you for the follow back on Twitter, man. Actually, you followed me first. That's what's crazy about it, man. Now, real quick, as far as the second channel, I plan to make a return. Uh, I've just been busy, honestly. That's the best way I can put it. 
Uh, also, but even on this second channel, highly produced videos will come. I'm not sure in what form, probably IRL, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Who knows? Maybe I'll start streaming. I'll take a page out of Beast Souls' book. I don't know. Am I even made for live stream? Maybe I'll go to kick. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's about it. See you. Yeah, I know I did not just rip Charlie's intro. What the 